Okay, in this video we're going to look at counter-attacking or counter-movements for the double neck clinch or tie clinch. So Pete here is going to be taking a tie clinch, double neck clinch on me and we're going to look at standard reaction to uh, ensure that we don't get caught in this uh, too often. Now, I should mention right at the start that as this double neck clinch position is taken, your posture needs to be good immediately. If it's not good right from the start, then you're going to be in big trouble regardless. So when you're clinching, you have to look after this head position, you have to keep your neck straight. If this head does start getting put under pressure like this, even if you haven't got it at the moment, you need to straighten up that neck quickly. The standard reaction when you get caught in a double neck clinch from here, especially if your head gets dropped down, is to pull out this way and try and come down and away from the pressure here. Of course, if this person's smart, they're waiting for exactly that, and they're going to drop that big knee on you as soon as you come out. So if he gets the double neck clinch from here, he sees me dropping away, and as I go for that, I can come in with the knee. So the standard natural reaction to pull out backwards is not a good one. What we're going to do here, as I mentioned with the uh, posture, is as this double neck clinch hits, straighten up the posture immediately, so look up towards the person and get your neck, and step in underneath them. Because even if you're straight from here and your hips are out, this person can drag you down from here. So as he gets this double neck clinch, I need to straighten up my neck and step in so that my hips aren't hanging back. From here, I can get a lot of opportunities to get a body clinch from here. If I can get a body clinch from this position, I can break this double neck clinch down. This is not the only way of defending a uh, double neck clinch from here, but it's a nice, natural, standard reaction that you should take if you feel those hands going up and around your head. So let's imagine that we're clinching from here and we feel those hands going up around the neck instantly, head up, stride in, and make an effort to capture around the person's body from there. If we get this position, then all of a sudden we're the person with the strong position. We can head into work from here, whichever it is, from the body clinch. So one more time, bring the clinch from here. I feel Pete going up and around the head. Instantly look up, step in, get the hips underneath you, see if you can reach in and get the body clinch. Even if you can't reach in and get the body clinch, this is still the right thing to do. It goes for the head, you still want to be like this as your standard reaction. Can't get knees on me from there, and you can come up and get some strikes if you can't get the body clinch instead. So that's a standard reaction with a positive posture and a body clinch if you can get it from a double neck clinch.